Hello and welcome to Saurabh Sales Classes. Today we will talk about some very useful tips regarding the listening section of the IELTS exam. And if you are aspiring for IELTS this year, then you must watch this video because there are tips which will share which you won't find anywhere on the internet. So before we get into the tips, let us first understand what is the structure of this section. So the listening section will have 40 questions to be answered in 40 minutes and it will have four audios or four audio clips. The first one would be a social audio or an audio on a social topic involving two speakers. The second one would also be a social one but it would be one speaker. Now the example of the first one could be a dialogue between two friends talking about a game of sports. Example of second one could be someone talking about a place, describing a place. So these are social conversations. The third section is an academic one. And it involves typically three to four speakers. An example of this could be a discussion amongst four doctors regarding a topic in medicine. The fourth section would also be academic, but here you'll have one speaker. Typical example is a class lecture given by a professor on a particular topic. Now when you are listening to these audios, you will also get the questions and you have to answer the questions in the question paper or question booklet. So first you answer them in the question paper for 30 minutes. The total duration of the four audios is 30 minutes. So in this 30 minutes, you'll get the questions and you listen to the audio and you have to answer or note down the answers in the question paper. And in the next 10 minutes, you have to transfer the answers from the question paper to the answer sheet. So for that, you'll be given 10 minutes. So this is the structure of the listening test. Now let's come to the tips. Tip number one, use a pencil to note down the answers in the question sheet, question paper. Tip number two, you have to choose whether you will give your answers, your final answers in the answer sheet in capital or lower case. So if you are giving your answers in capital, then it could be like school, 
everything is in capital or Mr. Jones, everything is in capital. However, if you are giving your answers in lower case, then this would be school, but this would be Mr. Jones, where M and J would be in capital. So all proper nouns, names of places, etc. will start with a capital letter. So you have to be very, very clear whether you want to answer in capital or in lower case. You cannot change in between. You cannot mix up. Number three, you have to pay very close attention to the number of words in the answer and for this you have to pay attention to the instructions in the question sometimes you would be told that no more than two words and or two numbers so you might be given options like five 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 men only five men and any of these can be the right answer according to the instructions but if you are told no more than two words no numbers then this could be the correct answer no numbers no numbers no numbers so in that case only option a comes out to be the correct choice so you have to pay very close attention to the instruction before you choose the answer tip number four Pay very close attention to spelling and grammar. If your answer is correct but your spelling is wrong, then your answer would be treated as wrong. Similarly, if your answer is correct but it's grammatically wrong, it will be marked as incorrect. So what does this mean? This means that Suppose you are given a question and the option is to choose the appropriate word or phrase from a given set of words or phrases and the answers, the options are choose the correct place where the patient can be admitted. Patient can be admitted this is the question and your choices are hospital at the hospital in the hospital so here the correct choice would be hospital however if the question is the patient was taken dash. Here the options would be given as at the hospital, in the hospital, to the hospital, etc. So you have to be careful about the grammar and you have to choose two. The patient was taken to the hospital so you have to be very very careful about the spelling and the grammar because these are absolutely essential for you to get the right answers and if you go wrong here your answers would be marked as incorrect tip number five do not try to understand everything
this means that do not try to follow the conversation word by word try and understand the meaning of it try and understand the keywords for you to get a grasp of what is being discussed so do not try to understand everything and take notes of the keywords note the keywords and the keywords would be only the verbs and the nouns for example if it is told that the boy was watching a football match then you will have to take note of the verb watching or was watching and the football match so this is how you have to keep a tab of the keywords tip number 7 when you are transferring the answers from transferring the answers from the question paper to the answer sheet do not copy blindly check for spelling mistakes check for grammatical errors and tip number 8 most important one revise revise your answers before submitting again check for spellings and check for grammatical errors so this is how you have to approach the listening section of the ielts exam i hope this video would help you to crack this section very very successfully and you will be able to score very high in this section so if you have any doubts please list them in the comment section and we'll get back to you